Hi, this is Mac, and I'm back again. Um, who knows why, but I'm going to give it another shot. I paddled the Northern Forest Canoe Trail last year in, uh, in about the same week that I'm leaving this year. And uh, this year we're going to see if we can't uh, do a little bit better job. I've got a clean new shiny shirt and uh, we hope that we have some good weather, some good water levels and uh, I just can't wait. It's going to be exciting. You can follow the link that I've got on this video post to be able to track my breadcrumbs and uh, you can also have my journal entries so that you can follow my daily blogs at trailjournals.com. Just go ahead and uh, search Northern Forest Canoe Trail. Hi, this is Mac and uh, this is my video for day two of the Northern Forest Canoe Trail. Uh, day two was pretty uneventful, 44 miles, so all told I'm about 87 miles and I'm way ahead of last year's pace and I'm starting to feel it. <laughs> uh, as much as you train for these things, it's still uh, physically demanding for sure. Stayed in a motel again last night, which uh, is my second time in two nights. And last year in 25 days, I only spent two nights at a motel. So I'm also ahead of my schedule on that one. Um, some long lakes, ended up making some really great time, met some other through paddlers. And uh, this morning I ended up in uh, Saranac Lake Village, which is a quaint little town. And the weather is awesome. You can see that the water is calm and I actually stayed here at uh, the motel right on the water and our boat has uh, parking right here at the dock and we're getting ready to get into uh, some river running this morning with some more rapids so that will be interesting and uh, more details on my blog.
Hi, this is Mac. It's day four and I'm reporting live uh, on the NFCT from Lake Champlain, which I've paddled all through the state of New York, about 150 miles, and now I'm in Vermont. So the Appalachian Mountains are no more. The last 40 miles with all the rapids was absolutely killer. It was awesome. About seven miles after I left this morning, I met another through paddler by the name of V.C. Conway. And uh, we paddled together for some time. And when we got to Plattsburgh, he had to pick up some packages at the post office. So I took off and kept on going since it's such a beautiful day and Lake Champlain can have some really big waves. I decided to go out here and take advantage of the calm weather. So take a look at this. I have no idea where I'm going to sleep tonight. I've camped, the, I've passed the campgrounds. Uh, you know what? It just might be an island. And I might name it my island. <laughs> Talk to you tomorrow. Bye bye. So it's the morning of day five. And uh, last night pulling in almost dark and uh, finally found a place to camp I did a quick boat inspection and it's not good news the Saranac River has taken the toll and uh, if you take a look I'm taking on water so uh, plan B is to see if I can't get transportation back to Mountain Man in Old Forge. They're having a big boat sale this weekend and I need a boat. <laughs> so if we can get another boat, I'll drive my car back up here to where I am right now in uh, North Hero Island at the country store. And uh, anyone that knows somebody that might be heading that way or I can pay to give them a ride, I'm ready to head on back down to Old Forge so I can get my car with my new boat, come on back up and continue on. Wish me luck, thanks. Hi, this is Mac reporting live. It's day five on the Northern Forest Canoe Trail and it's brought to you tonight by a song from Willie Nelson. Back on the trail again. Okay, so uh, let me tell you how we got here because we're on the point of North Hero Island in Vermont. And uh, this morning we got up early and started looking around to see if we could find anybody to give me a ride because if you didn't know I sunk my boat yesterday and I needed to get back to uh, New York to get my car. So after a while of asking around I gotta tell you, you know what it takes to find somebody to drop what they're doing and give you a ride? A lot of luck, a smile, and a big wad of cash. So we got that over with and uh, about a little bit later we were on the trail going over the uh, uh, Saint, the uh, <laughs> Lake Champlain Ferry from Vermont over to New York and then in New York three and a half hours later we ended up uh, back at Mountain Man's Outfitter and I had called ahead and asked him to see if we could uh, have a couple of boats set aside with my criteria because 
they were having their big weekend sale. So I got there, and you know how many boats they had for me to look at? One. That's right, so guess which one I got? I got one boat, but I did get a boat. So uh, we went inside, uh, the boys were cleaning it off after I made sure that I could pack all my gear inside of it. I gave them my debit card and uh, they said, call your bank because your card has been rejected. Okay, so I called my bank and because I had to take a bunch of small deposits from ATMs to pay the big wad of cash, then I didn't have any, they put a fraudulent claim on my card and froze it. So we got through the bank, we got that taken care of, uh, loaded up the boat, Three and a half later, three and a half hours later, I'm back on the ferry crossing over into Vermont. Uh, we get uh, on my boat and my maiden voyage is across Lake Champlain, about seven miles. We get going and we heading up and uh, here's where we're at. So, as of right now, I'm about 25% of my way through the trip. Uh, this is day five, and last year on this trip, this is exactly where I was on day five. So, I'm par for the course. Uh, hopefully, this boat works out for us. We'll have more to go, and uh, talk to you later. Hi, this is Mac and I'm reporting from the Northern Forest Canoe Trail Day 6. I'm at uh, Abbey Rapids here in uh, near Enosburg, Vermont. And uh, today was, uh, we finished paddling on Lake Champlain. Uh, in just a couple of hours, we ended up crossing the lake. The whole thing took less than eight hours, so that was uh, the same as last year. Very happy with that. And then we started paddling upriver on the Missisquoi River, so we didn't think it'd make as good a time. But I'm very pleased with my new boat. Uh, there she is. Uh, everything seems to be working fine. Even going upriver, we were averaging four miles an hour. So that's not a bad pace. And uh, after a while, I got to a point where I said, okay, let's go to the Abbey Rabbit's restaurant. Abbey, I just had three beers, so excuse me. <laughs> I'm really happy tonight. <laughs> I'm at the Abbey restaurant and uh, well fed. I'm going to bed down a little bit early tonight and uh, life is good. I will should have another productive day tomorrow. So uh, we'll report more then. Hi, this is Mac reporting live day seven from the Northern Forest Canoe Trail from Richford, Vermont. Uh, today I just paddled from Abbey Rapids up the Missisquoi River, about 20 miles. Quite a lot of getting in and out of the boat because it's it's a lot of uh, a lot of low water. But you know it is what it is. Look at the weather; it's great. It's sunshiny. I'm stopped here at the Gray Gables Bed and Breakfast, and I stayed here last year. I'm waiting for the owners to get back so I can. Uh, see if they've got a room for me tonight and I'm gonna have another good night of dinner and a good night's sleep because I'm going into the wilderness this will be my last report for a few days and uh, you're gonna have to wait until I come back out of Canada uh, off from Lake Mimrifikog in Newport talk to you then We'll
This is Mac reporting on day eight in the Northern Forest Canoe Trail. And uh, after a night's, a good night's rest in the bed and breakfast in a nice soft bed, fantastic breakfast. Uh, Russ stopped by at about 7 a.m. and uh, we got a chance to visit and catch up. And by a little after eight o'clock, I was in the river in the Missaquah, uh, getting ready to get out of Vermont, head toward the international border. And uh, it was about seven miles to the border and after 4.4 miles, it was really shallow. The water was down about a foot, boulders, mile after mile after mile. And at 4.4 miles, I had to call the doctor. Dr. James Brown. I feel good. Just like I should. Do, 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 do. Oh yeah, doctor, after he gave me a checkup from the neck up, then baby, I was on my way and things got better. So we proceeded up the beautiful Missisquoi River until we hit mile marker 24. And by that time, I'm a little tired, 24 miles up river. We ended up getting there and uh, it's the Grand Portage, which the Northern Forest Canoe Trail calls the Grand Daddy. And here we basically go 5.7 miles, but it's an elevation gain of 600 feet uh, and at about halfway. And the good thing is, is the other half is back downhill. Finally, I ended up here 29 miles later and about one third finished on my journey of 750 miles on the shore of Lake Memorifagog. And uh, here was home last night. And as you see, we've got, uh, I slept right on the shore. Lake Memorifagog, so we can do an early morning crossing <laughs> on the big lake. More later. Mac reporting day nine out on the Northern Forest Canoe Trail and uh, I'm still going. It was about 26 miles today. Half of it was Lake Memorifagog, which is a big lake. Uh, I had to go through customs, a little hassle there, but it turned out okay. And uh, then the last was upriver on the Clyde River, which is, which is a challenge. <laughs> so now I'm doing a little laundry. You can see that I've got uh, some drying out there because we still got nice weather. And, uh, oh my goodness, look what's on that fence post. Ah, yes, <laughs> it's dinner time. <laughs> so we're gonna crawl in the tent tonight and uh, right here on the riverside, we're at uh, Clyde River Recreation so that we've got nobody here but me and a bunch of boats. More later, tomorrow we go into the fen. That's where I got lost last year, not this year. No, 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 no. State 10 on the Northern Forest Canoe Trail and uh, today we finished the Clyde River and uh, came all the way up to the Nulhegan River which I don't know 20 some odd miles and uh, right now I'm in this little river this is the beginning of it and uh, I've actually got my paddle right here and I'm, I'm trying out to do a little bit of fishing 
and and I think I got one. I think I got one. <laughs> yeah, I got one. Hi, this is Mac reporting day 11 from the Northern Forest Canoe Trail and now I've gone uh, 175 miles through New York, about another 80 miles through Quebec and Vermont and this morning I'm in New Hampshire. Got about another 35 miles in Hampshire which is upriver paddling, maybe a couple of more days and I'll be in the state of Maine. And better yet, uh, most of my upriver paddling will be done after this next 35 mile section. So uh, things are going good. Here's start right here in the covered bridge. And uh, it's been absolutely gorgeous weather. I stayed right here in between a couple of uh, uh, cedar trees with my little camp spot. And uh, we're gonna make another day of it. This is Mac and today is uh, day 12 on the Northern Forest Canoe Trail and we've done pretty good today. We uh, finished the upper Amanusik River and uh, ended up doing portaging and tracking and paddling and now we're on the uh, Andrew Scoggins River on the way up to Errol and uh, I'm portaging right now and uh, as you can see over here is the rapids and uh, not real big, but I can either be going upriver on that or I continue on this paved road pulling my nice wheeled cart over here. So I know that's not the historical route that they had, but back then they didn't have paved road options. So here we are, uh, probably a few more miles and we're gonna be setting camp. Tomorrow I got my eye on Errol.
Mack reporting live day 13 on the Northern Forest Canoe Trail and today I finished the uh, Androscoggin River and uh, ended up in Arrow at about noon, picked up my supply package and everything was great. Stopped at L.L. Bean, picked up some more fuel, blah blah blah, got all that stuff taken away, had a 12 inch sub, that was really good. Uh, the lady in front of me actually paid for my sandwich because she thought I had to wait too long for her big family of uh, a whole bunch of people. So that was kind of cool. And so then we went out and we uh, finished uh, the rest of the upriver, another portage. Uh, came across Umbagog Lake, which is only about 10 feet average depth. So it was pretty choppy out there. Got around that and came to the portage on Cary, Cary Road for the Rapid River. And uh, I got off from that and uh, this is probably the ruddiest and uh, rockiest portage that you would have. And I'm going through there and I'm pretty winded. I'm kind of tired. And all of a sudden it comes along and here's, here, here, I couldn't believe it. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. <laughs> there was a skinny dipper. Yeah. And, and he came up and, and he started talking and he saw my boat and he said, oh, I know about the trail. And so we talked for about five minutes and so I'm, I'm going like, dude, it's almost seven o'clock at night and the mosquitoes are out. It's, they're not bothering you. I'm thinking all this stuff and no, he's fine. And so we part our ways and I go through and huff and puff and go through there. About 10 minutes later, I'm thinking, I blew it. I wasn't on my game, man. I should have gotten my camera out, you know. All this stuff where, oh, I did three rivers today, or I did another stream, and it was hard, it was upriver. Could you imagine bonus footage? Yeah, <laughs> bonus footage? Yeah, that'd been pretty good. That would have been, I could just imagine that thing would have been viral. And it had gone viral, this guy's mother could have seen it, and she would have said, son, didn't I teach you anything? Where were your clothes? Don't you know you can get ticks? Now, at some point in my videos, I have to make a disclaimer to the National, uh, uh, to the Northern Forest, I don't even know who they are, the Northern Forest Canoe Tail. There, I got it. They are in no way responsible for anything I say and do. It's not their fault. No, it's not. So, but I can tell you that if you do ever decide to do the trail, it will change your life. If you do it twice, hmm, you might just go over the top. But from here on out, uh, we'll probably see more moose than people. But I promise you, I will be on my A game. I will be looking for some bonus footage. Don't think I'll see too many streakers. But uh, right now, we are getting ready to go into Lower Richardson Lake. And you can see that hopefully the wind dies down and we'll have a beautiful day tomorrow. Hi, this is Mack and it's day 14 on the Northern Forest Canoe Trail and I'm still here. Uh, today was 29 miles, so a pretty good day. We had some lakes with uh, Upper and Lower Richardson and then we ended up getting into Rangeley Lake and uh, the wind was actually to my back today, so I made some pretty good time. Had about 22 miles in by early afternoon and uh, today was a day that I actually got to do a little uh, wave surfing. And that was on Rangeley Lake, and I was coming down uh, down through the lake, and I noticed, you know, it was a clear blue sky, and there were some pillowy clouds up there, and there were two seagulls, and they were like just gliding up above, you know, that you know how they kind of catch in the wind, and they just kind of like hang in there, and I think they were watching me uh, wave surfing, because I was just going, either I'm chumming up some food behind me, or they're checking me out. And you know what? I think they were checking me out. 
because I had my new boat. We were doing good. We were wave surfing, and then I saw it. I saw the gulls up. We got a gulls up, man. We got, hey, he's okay. He's doing all right. So you know what? I had to name my boat, because it's doing okay. I call my boat Scooter. You like, yeah, Scooter. <laughs> so it's me and Scooter on the trail, and that's where we're at. And so now we're uh, through Rangeley, stopped and had a few adult beverages. Now it's about seven o'clock at night. And I tell you, I've been all the way here, even with a shirt off, because there's just no bugs. It's been awesome weather, no rain for 14 days. But now we're at the uh, Lower Dallas Bridge in the, uh, uh, right here. And you see, we're starting to get rain. So I'm telling you right now, I gotta go because maybe we're gonna have enough water in the Dead River to be able to paddle it tomorrow, but I need to set camp quick. Bye bye. This is Mac and it's day 15 on the Northern Forest Canoe Trail and I'm reporting live on Flagstaff Lake at 7 p.m. Just finishing up 33 miles today and uh, the Dead River was dead. There wasn't enough water in it but the 20 mile portage that I was expecting only ended up being about uh, 12 and a half miles. So then I had 21 miles on Flagstaff Lake. And uh, today we had uh, 10 to 14 mile an hour winds. Let me kind of correct, hang on just a second. So uh, as you can imagine on a big lake 21 miles long, uh, 10 to 14 mile an hour has got a little bit of a, a waves to it. So we were going along, we were doing pretty good. And uh, all of a sudden I was riding the wave and the back end of my boat started going up and I could see the front end starting to go into the water about a foot in, two foot in. I'm going, Scooter, we gotta go. Let's go, baby. Whoop, whoop, dive, dive, we're going in. So I leaned back because I knew that that would help the buoyancy. Oops, gotta correct here just a second. So we came out of that and uh, that was about mile five out of 20 miles. So it's been an interesting time to say the least. And uh, now uh, we're gonna be looking for a place to camp. And I am sure glad that I ended up getting this thing over with today. Talk to you more tomorrow. Here we are at Great Falls, and there's actually people that go off those far falls over there. And we've got one fisherman down here.
this is Mac and today is day 16 on the Northern Forest Canoe Trail and uh, today was about uh, 27 miles. It was uh, pretty monumental. I got up and had a nice easy paddle down river on the Dead River, ended up on a 40 foot waterfall portage around the Great Falls which was pretty cool. Then I hit Spencer's Stream which last year I tried to avoid it going on logging roads and got lost in the woods for a day and a half. This year, five and a half hours, so it was a piece of cake. Stay on the trail, best advice. So after that, I uh, finished that up, did about a 10 mile lake and a seven and a half mile portage. So I ended up here in my casa. This is my home away from home. As you can see my tent right here, I'm getting ready to uh, cook dinner in my jet boil and we are going to have uh, some beef stew and some Fritos <laughs> and uh, other than that I've just got my stuff laid out there's not a whole lot of room in this thing it's like a two-man tent I just have a little quilt to put on here but uh, it does the trick and it packs up really nice and convenient so with that uh, tomorrow we're gonna make some really good time we're gonna start right out on the Moose River I'm camped right here next to the river so I'll be able to get on without any portaging or anything else Day 17, coming up. Reporting live day 17 from the Northern Forest Canoe Trail. Uh, more lakes and rivers, lots of wind. Had 20 miles of ponds today, one with and one against the wind. And uh, the rest was rivers. Stopped in Jackson for about three and a half hours. We had our first rain today, but I was picking up a resupply box, uh, catching up on my journals, doing all that good stuff. And so uh, not a whole lot to it, just about a 32 mile day. And uh, tomorrow we get back into some bigger lakes. Day 18. Coming up. It's day 18 on the Northern Forest Canoe Trail and uh, started out this morning, finished the Moose River and ended up getting into uh, Moosehead Lake. And I tell you what, that thing's about 17 miles long and there's white caps out there and it was not fun. I felt something on the bottom of my cheeks and I think I'm growing fingers to be able to hang on because man, I tell you what, it was quite the ride out there. And I'm here at Raymond's Country Store at the Northeast uh, what is it called? Northeast Cary. Northeast Cary. And uh, here's Ed Raymond, the proprietor of the facility. Ed, what do you got to say for anybody? I'm glad to see you here today. Well, I'm yeah. glad to be here. <laughs> yeah. 
I hope you enjoy your trip from here on out. It should be better than Moosehead Lake. Yeah, for sure. Uh, that was a big lake to carry. On and a I windy day. And I tell you what, uh, that's about it. I'm not going to go too much further than here. He's got some things in the freezer over there that I got my eye on, or at least a cold beverage. So we will report more later on. This is Mac reporting on the Northern Forest Canoe Trail and day 19 was another memorable day after camping on Thoreau's Island, which was really cool and there were three moose walking around, saw them on the shore, got some pictures. Uh, we ended up going about 17 miles up the Penobscot River, uh, did a couple of lakes and ended up going into Mud Pond Carry, which is kind of a rite of passage on the, uh, on the trail. And that's 1.8 miles of walking down and up, up and over a stream that's less than three feet wide and sometimes knee deep in mud. One time you go over that, uh, I was able to do it in a single pass, which means I carried all my gear and pulled my boat at the same time. Ended up into Mud Pond, which you think a pond would be a little thing in somebody's backyard, right, with some goldfish in it. This thing's 956 feet deep. So these are big ponds. And uh, across that, got into Lake Champlain, another uh, nine or ten miles. Ended up on Eagle Lake, where here uh, I've gone through the tramway carry. And the tramway carry has some famous trains in there. And we ended up on Eagle Lake, camped on the shore, watching the sun come up. I mean, it, it couldn't get any better. It just couldn't get any better than this. <laughs> and so here we are. I'm waiting to rendezvous at this point with Michael, who is uh, gonna finish this last leg with me. And he drove out from Michigan to be able to work with me on this. And as you can see, we've got the uh, sun coming up here in the morning. And uh, I'm still alive and going. We got a couple of mosquitoes this morning, but uh, uh, here we are. <laughs> so today is day 20. 
and uh, we're getting close. We're on our last leg. Mac, it's live with the Mac and Michael on the day 20 of the Northern Forest Canoe Trail. Say hi, Mike. <laughs> and, and yesterday I was concerned that Mike wasn't going to show up, but actually Mike had been there for hours and hours, and the ranger kicked him off the island right before I got there, and he scribbled on a rock that he was a mile away. So by 9.30 this morning, we were on the lake, crossed Eagle Lake, got the ranger to keep the water level up, and we kicked butt on uh, on the rapids. What rapids are those? The, the chase, chase rapids. Chase Mike, how'd you like the chase rapids? They were wild and wet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, what else? They're great, they're fast. fast <laughs> okay, I was hoping he'd say they were like really, 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 really big, but I've exaggerated enough on the trip. We don't need him to do it, embellish it even more. Anyway, we ended up at 26 miles because there's a big storm coming in that's supposed to rain an inch an hour. And neither one of us wanted to sit camp in the rain. So we're eating dinner at a picnic table and having a good time before it rains. Tomorrow's, uh, tomorrow's gonna be a really big day, so we'll see how it goes. Let's add, Bill. Lots of Advil tomorrow. <laughs> you heard the man. Hi, this is Mac and Michael reporting live from the Allagash Wilderness Waterway and we are at Allagash Falls here in Maine and as you can see I'm a little damp. We stopped at the ranger stations to check out of the wilderness and it started to rain but you can see the clouds above me are starting to clear out and uh, we're just portaging around Allagash Falls. By the end of today we'll have 49 miles in and uh, we're going to spend the night over there in Allagash. So it's been a great trip so far, and we'll report more tomorrow. And here comes Michael at the bottom of Allagash Falls, and he's rounding the corner coming out to just come through this small chute here. And he's going to choose his route. Where is he going to come through? Ah, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs>
Hi, this is Mac, and today is Tuesday, June 7th, and I am here reporting live at the Northern Forest Canoe Trail finish line in Fort Kent, where I have just completed 740 miles from New York, Vermont, Quebec, New Hampshire, and Maine. And uh, here I am with Michael. Michael has completed the trip in the last leg with me. What do you think, Michael? We're done. <laughs> yeah, we are. So with that, uh, it was a great trip. It was a really great trip. 